Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semi-circle with the center O, fully inscribed uh, in a blue trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, E is the point of tangency. And moreover, uh, this base uh, A, D length uh, is uh, 25 units, whereas this other base uh, B, C length uh, is uh, 16 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, semicircle. We can see this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, semicircle. And likewise, uh, OB is uh, radius as well. I'm going to label this radius as lowercase r. So therefore, this is going to be lowercase r uh, as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, diameter uh, AB length a is going to be, if we add these two radii, that's going to give us uh, 2 times uh, r and now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue trapezoid uh, ABCD so therefore let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area is always equal to height uh, h uh, times the sum of the bases uh, a and b all over 2 and here we can see if I call this uh, base uh, a this is uh, 25 units and the base, uh, if I call this base B, this is uh, 16 units. And the height uh, of this trapezoid uh, AB length uh, is 2 times R. So therefore, now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, radius uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the two tangents theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we got uh, this external point O, uh, whereas the points uh, A and B are our points of tangency. Then according to this theorem, this segment uh, AO must be equal to this segment uh, BO. And now we are going to apply this uh, two times theorem to this given problem. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, DE length uh, must be equal to this uh, base uh, AD length. If this is uh, 25, then this uh, DE length uh, must be 25 units uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, AC length must be equal to this base uh, BC length. If this is 16, then this uh, AC length must be 16 as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, CD length must be equal to 25 plus 16 is going to give us uh, 41 units. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, CF uh, on this base uh, AD. And we can see this uh, perpendicular uh, FC length uh, is equal to this uh, diameter AB length. And we know our diameter AB length is 2 times R. So therefore, our FC length uh, must be 2 times R as well. And finally, we can see that this uh, AF segment length uh, equal to this uh, base BC length, which is uh, 16. So therefore, uh, this uh, AF length uh, is uh, 16 units. So therefore, uh, this remaining uh, segment uh, FT length uh, is going to be 25 uh, minus 16 is going to give us uh, 9 units. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle CFT. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, radius lowercase r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is 41, whereas our two other legs are uh, 2 times r and 9. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 2 times radius r square plus uh, 9 square equals to 41 square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us 4 times uh, r square 
plus 81 equal to 1681 and we are going to subtract 81 from both sides this is gone so therefore 4 times the r square equal to 1600 and now we are going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate r square so therefore r square value turns out to be equal to 400 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, lowercase uh, r value simply turns out to be 20 units so thus our radius lowercase r value turns out to be 20 and we know this uh, diameter a b length is uh, 2 times uh, r so therefore uh, this diameter a b length is going to be 2 times 20 is going to give us uh, 40 units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue trapezoid a b c d and now let's recall once again the area of a trapezoid formula area is equals to height h times a plus b all over 2 and in our case our height h is 40 units our base a is 25 and our base b is 16 so therefore our blue trapezoid area is going to be our height is 40 divided by 2 times base a is 25 base b is 16 and now we know 20 is going to be if we simplify this 40 divided by 2 is going to give us 20 and if we add 25 and 16 that is going to give us 41 so therefore we are going to get 20 times 41 and that is going to be equal to 820 square units so the area of this blue trapezoid abcd and now i'm going to share with you the second method as well and in this uh, method i'm going to simply show you how to find uh, the radius lowercase r value with a magical formula and here's our uh, magic formula r square equals to the base is uh, a times the base b and we know our base uh, a is uh, 25 and our base b is uh, 16 so therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so r square is going to be equal to 25 times uh, 16 so therefore uh, r square equals to 400 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our uh, radius uh, of this my circle turns out to be simply 20 units by using the second method as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this blue trapezoid a b c d turns out to be 820 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye